left and this affair. Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in this video, as you can see by the title, today I'm going to be trying these long distressed soft locks on my hair. So I already washed and conditioned my hair. Um, now I'm adding a little bit more product because one, my hair felt dry and then also my hair is about to be put in a protective style for some weeks. So I like to add as much moisture as I can before I put my hair away. I'm using my comb and making a middle part as straight as I can. And when I start on the braids and locks, I'm going to part my hair as I go. But right now I just made a middle part to section off some hair because I'm obviously not going to be working with all this at once. Once I got done doing the middle part and I did make the middle part going all the way down, I added some oil to my hair and I'm just finger detangling each side. I picked whatever side I wanted to work on first and tied the other section up here. And I'm splitting my hair again into another section and then I split it into another section just so I can work with really small sections and know what I'm doing. Um, this is the part where I said I was going to section my hair off or uh, part my hair like as I go. So I went ahead and parted that bottom section out and I'm taking the pieces of hair and I'm braiding it. Um, really all that you're going to see from this point for a little bit is just me braiding my hair. Um, I did four braids on the bottom, I think, and then like the next row I did like six, maybe seven. And you guys, I, I don't know if I'm going to count them, but you guys can just watch me braid the whole rest of my hair here. Once I finish up braiding the hair on the right side, I continue the same thing on the left side. I cut it a little bit short on this part because you guys have been watching me braid for this whole time. Once I get down to the end of the braid, I am like twirling the bottom so it doesn't come loose and I'm continuing my parts. Some of my parts in the back were not straight. It's okay though because you won't even be able to see it. Um, but some of them are not perfect and straight or the same as the right side. But like I said, it's fine. Um, so yeah, I'm finishing up braiding the this side of my hair. I'm down to the last braid here and I'm adding a little bit more oil and conditioner to my hair before I put the locks in just because this is going to be a style that I'm having for like weeks. So you need a lot of moisture on your hair. Now on to installing the hair. I bought this like pre uh, locked crochet braids, locks, whatever you want to call it. I bought these. Um, and this is how long they are. They're like 24 inches. Um, I made sure to get the long ones. Um, this is what it looks like. I also have my crochet and that's what the lock looks like. So it does have like a pre loop on it, you know? So I'm using my crochet needle and I'm putting it through the base, the root of my hair. Um, and I'm clipping the hair onto the crochet needle, pulling it through. You can watch it. I, it, it's a little bit better to watch than hear me explain it to you. Um, this is what it looks like when I got done with that. Now this is the hair I'm going to be using. Um, I used this hair when I did my butterfly lock video uh, earlier this year. So I'm pulling, I'm taking like a small piece of that hair and I'm pulling it through on the crochet needle. This is what I'm using to hide my hair. Now I know you can like slip your hair in with the uh lock hair if that makes sense but i i kind of don't know how to do that and i feel like my hair my hair that i braided was a little bit too big to do that so i'm using this hair and i'm wrapping it around just to hide my hair this might be a little bit extra but my braids were too small to or they were too big to hide in with the crochet um 
So I just went ahead and took some extra hair and I wrapped it around and it still looked fine. My hair at the top was a little bit bigger, um, as you can see. Uh, but I went ahead after this video actually and I put a little bit more hair towards the end so it's all like the same thickness. I've seen people crochet their hair in with the lock and then they also added more hair on top to make it thicker. So I don't know, I feel like this way is kind of the same way. Um, but yeah, this is the way I'm doing it to hide my hair. You can choose a different way if you want. But again, this also was my first time doing this method and making them a little bit longer. So uh, next time I do this, I will probably have a different method. Also with wrapping the hair, I kind of wrap the hair going all the way down and I stopped at a certain point and I would like wrap the hair going back up so that it wouldn't unravel. Finally on the last lock and this is how my hair looks once I finished, um, how long it is, how thick it is once I got done. And a couple hours later I went ahead and did my edges. I'm using my edge booster and my wet line extreme gel, my edge brush and I'm just doing my edges. And this is how my hair looks once I finish my edges. I really liked how they looked on here, um, especially on that side. I liked how they turned out. And this part here, this is what my hair looks like in the front and about where it falls on me. It is a little thin, um, but I did go back off camera later on in the day and I added a little more hair just to make it thicker. But that's how it looks in the front and this is how it looks in the back, especially in the back. It looks very thin and like there's barely any hair there, but... It looked better later on when I fixed it. The hair in general was a little bit thin, so I need to make a little bit more braids next time so that I can use more hair and that it can look a little bit fuller. But with all that being said, hope you guys liked the video and everything I showed. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more content and more videos from me. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!